shouldn't be done <laughs> oh my gosh okay we're gonna pause this but I don't wish this stress on my daughter but I think it's a really cute onesie Okay, we are at Home Depot. We just picked out a piece of wood for the nursery. You guys will see what comes with this soon, but we're gonna pick out some paint for it. And uh, that was uh, not as painful. No. Same as way. maybe we thought it might be. Is that five feet? So was it so 10, like 10, so 10, 10 to 12 20, bucks? I don't know math. 10 to 12 bucks. So, okay, so paint is back that way, so we can go back that way. This way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're back now and I'm painting the three samples onto this piece of wood and we're gonna go test it in the nursery. This is kind of like a brown color, this and then we have like a blackish and a green, so so yeah. Penn State cheerleader uniform. I die. <laughs> I cannot. This is an outfit daddy picked out. Her daddy, Mike. He picked this little cute, and it has little bows at the bottom with a little matching top. He picked that out, and it comes with a hat with a bow on it. She'll probably wear that when she's home. I was gonna make it her going home outfit because he picked it, but I wanted something softer for her body. These are cute.
really been talking much in this vlog, but there are just a lot of things that need to get done that I'm trying to get done. And um, basically, I've been really focused on getting them done. Um, but I'm working on baby girl's bathroom right now. I thought I'd give you a quick look. The nursery itself we're keeping a secret, a surprise, and I will reveal it to you when it is done. But this is going to be her bathroom. And so I'll show you a little bit of the process. The vibes between the bathroom and the nursery are a little bit different. Um, I didn't want the nursery to be like this boho nursery because I feel like everyone's doing that. I do really like the trend and like I saved a lot of boho type nursery things but in the end my taste did not go that route and um, I didn't I just didn't want a nursery that looked like everybody's nursery right now <laughs> so but the bathroom is a little more boho than um it's probably like the most boho. There's still like chic touches in the bathroom, I think, and in terms of the things that I've ordered, it's not done yet. Um, but I'm gonna show you where we're at so far and kind of what my plans are. The plan is for it to be super simple, but decorative because it is a baby's bathroom. And I want it to be known that it's a baby girl's bathroom, um, but I didn't want it to be like this crazy explosion of pink either. So let me just show you what I've done so far and like show you kind of what I plan to do in here. So still looking really plain over here. This is just random stuff, but as you can see, I have some rainbow decals cause I'm using that. This is her shower curtain. I have to steam it still, um, but it's frilly. I would never usually do this. Um, because it's so frilly, I just kept it nice and white. <laughs> I didn't want it to be too much. They had a pink and a purple option. I was just like, that's gonna be a lot of color. It's gonna be a lot. So I just got the white shower curtain with, with like the little frills all over it. Um, and I think it'll look a lot better once I actually steam it and um, get these wrinkles out. It's gonna be really cute. So very, very feminine. Um, I haven't done anything here yet. I'm not gonna do anything to this portion of the bathroom, but um, I've started here. <laughs> I think it's really cute. So this painting is the first thing I ever got for a baby girl um, for her nursery. And I didn't even know she was a girl yet. I just went to Nordstrom Rack. I was three weeks pregnant. It was right after we told Mike's parents. And I saw this and I was like, we have to have it. I thought it was gonna go in her nursery, but it felt a little bit too boho for her nursery. Um, like I said, we are not going that route. So it just feels a little bit out of place um, in the nursery. So now it's gonna be in the bathroom. I'm gonna put some more of the rainbow decals up here and then this wall will be finished. And I think I'm just gonna continue on with the rainbow decals like on this little wall, like on that portion, or like maybe not on that portion. Maybe the decals will just stay like on this side. So like it'll be rainbow decals here and then like on this wall. And I think maybe that's it. Or maybe this might just be it, like this corner here. I literally have no idea. <laughs> exactly yet what we're gonna do um and then the next thing i'm gonna do is empty this um so mike was quarantining or we, we were quarantining from each other so he has like some of his stuff in here for when he was sleeping on the couch so clear that out so um i got these decals from amazon i'll link everything in the description below I got the decals from Amazon. I think I even got the shower curtain from Amazon. This cart is not gonna be in here. This is gonna be her mobile changing station. It's actually gonna be in the bedroom, like our bedroom, um, by the bassinet so I can change her in the middle of the night. And then I can also roll it out into the living room so I can change her and stuff during the day. 
Um, and it'll just have like all the things that she needs in there. Um, but right now it's just in here for whatever reason. Um, I'm gonna go to, I think, probably Amazon again and get some cute clear and pink uh, just like plastic baskets for her linen closet and also get some pink towels um, for this linen closet and this bathroom in general to kind of or maybe not even pink maybe lavender to pull from that painting and um, yeah that's kind of the plan it's gonna be super simple it's just the bathroom so I'm not trying to go crazy here but this is also going to be the guest bathroom but when guests are here they're gonna know that it's baby girl's bathroom um, so so because it's still gonna be a guest bathroom if people come over they'll use it I'm gonna have um, some big towels for normal people hand towels and those will be still pulling in from the theme of this bathroom and then she'll have her stuff here obviously all of her bath time stuff all of her whatever that will be in that linen closet and then she has all of the under sink storage as well and as for um mats i'm definitely gonna go so somewhere well first of all there is a i'm gonna get like a pink trash can like one of those metal ones for her diapers and then she'll have her dirty clothes hamper in here and i'll go against this wall here and um for a mat i'm gonna go something kind of like funky cute simple still but a little bit boho and pinkish purpley probably from urban outfitters i'm gonna try to find something like that so that's the plan for this room Obviously not done yet, but getting started next Friday, I'm gonna be eight months pregnant. So I'm trying to take as many steps as possible to get her, her, her situation set up. Today we also, um, we managed to find some at-home tests and we ordered it from Walmart and we took it. And I am testing negative on the rapid tests and Mike tested positive on the rapid test. And we are three days away from testing using the PCR test, which is not the rapid test. And the PCR test is supposed to be more sensitive than the rapid tests. And we both need to test negative in three days on the PCR tests in order to go on our honeymoon baby moon to St. Lucia. So, not looking great. <laughs> because Mike is obviously testing positive on the rapid test. Um, I'm negative on the rapid test, but the PCR tests are more sensitive, so it's possible that I could be negative on the rapid test and positive on the PCR test, but it's less likely now that I'm already testing negative, at least less likely than Mike. So we have three days. I don't know we're not contagious anymore we don't have to quarantine we're past all those stages we're not we don't have symptoms anymore anything like that so it's not like i don't know we're just still t technically testing positive um so we are three days away from doing the real test to travel so it's possible that both our viral loads go down enough that we both test negative on the pcr so we're still acting as if we're going we're still packing and everything but we just basically have to take the test and wait for the results and see what's gonna happen it's all up in the air right now so i feel like i feel like she just had another growth spurt like because this is ridiculous but this is this is like my body right now like what in the world is going on my back is like fully arched like at all times I don't understand my back hurts so bad I'm gonna go put on my belly band to help support my back um but she is for reals just sticking out y'all um so yeah I'm eight months next week and it sounds like Mike just got back from grocery shopping so let's go see him Hey, Derek. Hey, babe. Oh. 
<coughs> Lots of groceries. Oh my god. I need one of those grocery carts. Yeah. I'll throw my back for this one. Oh yeah. yeah. This is a lot. I think it's a longer walk than what a seventh walk. From the car to the apartment? Yeah. Yeah. In terms of steps, like, you know, like, obviously and there's more stairs than the other ones, it's worse. It was worse. It's a longer distance, like, to keep the balance up. That worse. long hallway is a killer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was cool. just vlogging because I just was going to, like, give an update to what I was doing and then, oh, like, cool. end the vlog. Do you want to go see the bathroom? I haven't done anything crazy, crazy. Our bathroom? This one. The one for... Baby X. The one for Baby X, wait. you crazy. Oh, I love that. Do you? Yeah. I'm gonna do like above it too, but yeah. like. Really cute. That's what I started doing. Love like, it. Yeah. Those are those stickers, right? Yeah, these yeah. are stickers. Good job hanging that too. It's perfectly centered. Thank you. Or well, assume it's perfectly centered. I'm assuming you didn't actually measure it, you just eyeballed it. I just eyeballed it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't measure. Yeah. <laughs> Lou, <laughs> she's gonna love Lou's it. Lou's face was all the way inside of Lou, one of you things. can't eat the groceries. You, she wanted to eat the raw The meat. raw steak. She's eaten raw chicken before. I don't know if cats are allowed to do that. She didn't no. die. Obviously, she's still here, but I left chicken out to thaw, and she just ate right through it, and it was still partially frozen, so she just <laughs> ate the top layer that had thawed. And then, so here are some of the clothes that I washed this is the ones that couldn't go in the dryer so i just put them to hang dry her things are so cute i cannot get over it and yeah this is what we're doing guys in my back freaking kills dude oh, I bet. it kills there's not much else left to this day and i i'm i plan to edit this vlog and upload it for tomorrow so that means this has to end <gasps> oh wait are we are we still doing that yep Mike's gonna make cookies, and we have vanilla ice cream, and I, today is just gonna be a good day. Mike learned how to make chocolate chip cookies at home. We never baked before because we just didn't have the technology, and now we have like a KitchenAid mixer, and we have room for this kind of stuff, and he bakes now. And as I knew he would be, he, no, no, I was like no, Mike. The, the girl that was doing the checkout. This is my favorite dessert. This is all I eat, guys. Like, these, these are, this these right are here. Not, these are not from the freezer. These are, like, you have to bake. These are, like, uh, I think you have to add the egg yourself and stuff like that. What? So these, are, these should be better. Um, you guys, this big, is this is my, my go-to dessert. Like, this is my favorite dessert to eat ever. It's a chocolate lava cake, and I like to eat it with vanilla ice cream. And I don't like ice cream. It's only when I'm eating things like this or like hot cookies. And I don't like cookies. I like Mike's cookies, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, well, I have vanilla ice cream. And I, we, it's so hard to find molten lava cakes anywhere. Um, like sometimes you can find them frozen and then put them in the oven. And it's just hard to find good ones too. What a treat. Are you being really nice to me because of the, the COVID test? No, that's, that's not at all. What I was doing, I just saw those and I was like, well, I never see them. And I just wanted to get it in case it, they weren't going to be there the next time I came around. This I is knew crazy. I getting, this I knew, is that shop, right? Yeah. I knew I was going to be making you the chocolate chip cookies, but I was like, you know what? I can make these things whenever. Yeah. Because they're shelf safe for so long. Oh, yeah, because it's not in the freezer. Not in the freezer. And even if they were in the freezer, they could be, they'd be fine, but they don't sell the freezer ones there either. Like, no one sells them. No one sells them. Um, so, yeah. And they're actually like good Echoes, too. Nice. So, this is great. This is a great day. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go so that I can eventually start editing this vlog so that you guys can get it for tomorrow, and it's already 8 p.m. Um, so, yeah. Well... I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the direction of the baby's bathroom, what you're thinking, what your thoughts are, any recommendations, and ooh, my favorite pairs. 
and um, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. My oh my. My oh my. A kiss and so I did.